Oh man, goddamn. Don't cheat me. Treat me. Subscribe to the channel, man. Share the video. Hit the like button, man. Now Joe Button Podcast broke up. Now Chris Barnes quit. What the fuck is niggas to do? Hey man, what's going on with the podcast slash YouTube world, man? You got Joe Button Podcast all fucked up. You don't see Roy. You don't see Ma. Joe Button got some weird nigga with some glasses on this motherfucker. I don't even know his name. Joe Button and his feelings and shit. He, he studied going through the show talking about he missed Ma and that's Ma's chair and that's Roy's chair and Roy shut up. All that shit. What the fuck is going on in the world with the podcast slash YouTube shit, man? Then Joe Button said. Roy been doing some little slick shit the whole time, talking about he want to fight and shit, little slick shit. And Joe said he wasn't with that shit, man. So something been making Roy feel some type of way, man. I think they sometimes they take them jokes personal, man. Not so much as Maul. I think Maul would say some shit if you were saying some slick shit. But Roy don't know how to fire back at motherfuckers. How many times Joe Button said something and Rory just sit there looking stupid? Like, hum, hum, hum. He be sitting there looking dumb as hell. You know what I'm saying? So, I just want to know what the fuck going on over there at the Joe Button podcast. Y'all get y'all shit together because I fuck with y'all. And let's get down to the Chris Barnes situation. Nigga, you talking about quitting? You don't want to report on drill rapper, report on the drill scene? Look, Chris Barnes, niggas fuck with you. You don't got that type of channel that's disrespectful or a motherfucker should try to come harm you in any sort of way. So, if a motherfucker coming at Chris Barnes, that's some on some hating ass fraudulent shit from what I see. Like, I seen Chris Barnes snap one a couple times, but... He ain't no on no disrespectful gangster gangster type shit. So in this podcast world and YouTube world, you niggas don't be beefing and shit like these rappers. Let's keep this motherfucking YouTube and podcast shit clean. You know what I'm saying? Let them buffoons get murked and shit and get niggas knocking at their door and shit. That shit ain't cool. Then you got King A K forty seven. What uh what uh that one nigga call him death for the clout chaser? King doodle shit. I ain't disrespecting uh AK, that shit is funny as hell, King Doodle shit. So you got King Doodle shit gets on the live talking about Chris Barnes first he said they sent them the people to his house. Then they sent the people to his grandma's house. Come on, man. AK, did you send these people to Chris Barnes' people house? Because you seem to know who the fuck was at that house. You talking about some old-ass black African lady. How would you know that? Like, is y'all getting that petty in this world that y'all fucking around and doing a little dumb shit that can get somebody hurt playing games and shit? Now, what if Chris Barnes would have did a Gucci man and left them niggas at the front porch? You know what I'm saying? Because y'all want to play games. Then they definitely be on your hands. Then they'd have been smoking a, a King Doodle Shit friend pack. You know what I'm saying? If you did that, I don't know. You seem to know who was at that motherfucking dope, so I don't know. But motherfuckers need to chill out with that, man. Motherfuckers was cool. Y'all need to get back cool. Everybody need to get back cool, get to the motherfucking money and the bigger picture. It's enough viewers, money, all that shit for everybody, man. So, why y'all listening to this shit? Subscribe to my channel. I'm fucking with everybody. Hit the like button, share that shit. I'm out this time. Yo, bitch.